Hey guys, so I am doing a wash and go type style on my kinky curly 4A, 4B hair. And I'm just going to show you how I got these results. I've never had my hair like this before, so I just tried it in the back and I saw that it actually worked, so I just kept going. So all I'm using is my water my castor oil and my uh, the super wet gel with maximum hold okay so I've done all of this and I don't even know how it looks in the back I've just been going and going because I'm just trying to get it done Okay. All right, so you want your hair to be like super wet. And I'm just doing little sections at a time like this. And then after I do the section, I'm going to spray it with water again to make sure all of it is wet. <clears throat> and then just like a dime size of the castor oil. Praying hands starting from the ends because that's where I want most of my protection from the gel. And basically that's what the castor oil is for. It's protecting me from the from the harshness of the gel for when it gets hard so it doesn't break my hair or anything like that because I'm using a lot of gel. Alright, so after the water and the oil, I'm going to grab starting from your roots and just work your way down or you can start from the ends it really doesn't matter but you want to make sure that you get the roots as well all the hair I'm actually not using my tangle teaser because I find that when I use my tangle teaser my hair coils up and it it looks really short so I'm trying to see if I just do finger detangling if when it dries it would hang longer like I said this is just an experiment I don't, I don't know how this will turn out I hope it's gonna be good cuz this is taking a long time. Alright, so after you coat the hair with the gel, I just look where the hair separates and I just run my my finger down the hair, down that section. Like that. I think I mentioned this gel in my um, my staple or my favorite products video. This is the gel that it gives really good definition, but I find that when I mix it with other products, it flakes up. That's why I'm not using my um, 
like a leave-in conditioner under it. I'm just using the water and the oil. I'm, I'm going to see if it still flakes up. Hopefully it doesn't. Alright, so this section is done. Here you go. Now I'm trying to leave it wavy and not like do finger coils because then it would shrink up more. Alright, so I'm going to come back because y'all don't need to see all of this. You get the gist of it. I'm going to come back when I am done to show you how it looks. Bye. Alright, so I'm back. I'm finally done. I think this took me probably a couple hours to get done. Because I had to do such small sections since I'm not using my Tangle Teaser. So I'm just um, like brushing my edges back with the gel. And then I'll be done. I think I'm just going to let this air dry. I was thinking about using my diffuser. But I don't want to disturb it at all. So I'm just going to um, just let it air dry. I'm just adding the gel just on the edges and then I'm going to use my baby hair toothbrush to brush it back and then I'm done. So just use the gel and push it back. I mean, you can be all creative and make like squirt swerves to go back, but I'm just gonna push my hair back. And that's it. Alright, so let me turn around and show you guys. You see it up close? Like my hair has never looked like this when I try to attempt a wash and go. Alright, let me turn around. <clears throat> and under here it's starting to dry already. And it's starting to shrink up, but so far it's still like on my on my neck so it's not shrinking up that bad or that much I should say so yep that's it wash and go and kinky hair <laughs> pray for no flakes bye